China already has them. Tailless fighter jets, no vertical stabilizers, fully redesigned wings, and a technology the West abandoned decades ago, all moving wingtips. A design once buried in dusty aeronautics books from the 1980s is now flying. Not in simulators, not in secret prototypes, in public, in formation, and barely anyone is talking about it. During China's 2025 Victory Day military parade, the new stealth fighter J-50 made its first public appearance, escorted by massive stealth drones. All of them had one thing in common, their wingtips moved. This wasn't a design flaw, it wasn't a visual illusion, it was deliberate. A full section of the wing rotating as an independent unit, a radical, complex, risky solution and one the West walked away from over 30 years ago. Why is China using it now? What hidden advantage does this system offer? And why does the rest of the world seem completely unprepared to respond? Today on Tech Curio, we'll uncover the mystery behind one of the boldest decisions in modern Chinese military design, a nearly invisible technology that could redefine the future of air combat. For weeks after the parade, analysts studied the footage frame by frame. On social media, aviation forums, and defense channels, screenshots began to circulate, clearly showing the wingtips of the J-50 rotating. It was official. What we were seeing were all moving tips, or AMTS. This type of control surface isn't new. It was studied in Germany, the United States, and the USSR for decades, but no one had ever implemented it operationally in a modern fighter jet. To most observers, it was just a curiosity, another quirky design, maybe even aesthetic. But for those who know the history of stealth aviation, it meant something far bigger. China had revived an idea the West had thrown away and was placing its aerial future on it. To understand why all moving wingtips are a big deal, we have to go back nearly a century. World War II. Two German brothers, Walter and Reimar Horten, pursue a revolutionary concept, the flying wing. No tail, no traditional fuselage, just one clean aerodynamic wing. The result was the Ho-229, a jet-powered flying wing, wooden fabric, engines embedded inside the wing decades ahead of its time. It never saw combat, but it left a deep legacy. Years later, the United States revisited the idea with the B-2 Spirit, a stealth bomber with no vertical surfaces, capable of penetrating deep into enemy airspace undetected. But the flying wing had a problem, instability. Without a tail, maintaining control, especially in aggressive turns or turbulence, was extremely difficult. Engineers searched for solutions. In the 1980s and 1990s, wind tunnel tests explored all moving wingtips to compensate for the lack of vertical stabilizers without compromising stealth. The results were promising, but high cost, mechanical complexity, and immature digital flight controls shelved the idea. Until now. What we're seeing with the J-50 isn't an experiment. It's a doctrine. The J-50 lacks a tail and uses a lambda wing, a complex geometry that reduces radar signature from multiple angles, flat facets, beveled edges, and the total absence of vertical stabilizers make detection far more difficult. But this design comes at a cost, stability. Without rudders or horizontal stabilizers, control has to come from somewhere else. That's where the all-moving wingtips come in. These rotating surfaces control yaw, normally handled by rudders. They can also create localized drag, stabilizing the aircraft without breaking stealth. Unlike traditional ailerons that move up and down to control roll, AMTs are designed to rotate primarily upward. They don't add lift, they add drag. When one wing tip tilts up, drag increases on that side. The aircraft yaws, subtly, helping it turn, stabilize, or correct heading. Crucially, AMTs sit in a region of the wing that remains aerodynamically alive even near stall. When the main wing loses airflow at high angles of attack, the tips can keep working. It's like having a hidden rudder that keeps functioning when everything else fails. In air combat, high G turns, unpredictable speeds, aggressive maneuvers, 
a tailless Lambda wing jet would be nearly impossible to control without AMTs. With them, the J-50 keeps agility and stealth. None of this works without modern flight control. Old mechanical linkages can't adjust unstable airframes fast enough. Advanced fly-by-wire, the kind believed to be in the J-50, lets onboard computers manage every surface in real time with millisecond precision. The pilot isn't manually moving wingtips. They input a command. The system decides how to execute it, using all surfaces, including AMTs. In a way, the pilot isn't flying the plane directly. They're flying an intention. The computer does the rest. In that context, all moving wingtips aren't a novelty. They're essential to keeping the aircraft balanced, stealthy, and combat ready. The J-50 isn't alone. At the same parade, China unveiled two large stealth drones. No vertical stabilizers, no rudders, and yes, all moving wingtips. This wasn't coincidence. AMTs are moving from niche concept to standard feature in China's stealth ecosystem. Drones can tolerate more aerodynamic instability, making them ideal for AMTs. Cleaner profiles mean lower radar signatures. Lower signatures mean higher survival. With digital controls and AI-managed stability, you get stealth drones with minimal external surfaces. For decades, the West followed a playbook. Keep some verticals, lean on thrust vectoring, let software smooth the rough edges. China is choosing a different path. Ultra-clean airframes, no rudders, no tails, and alternative control like AMTs to maintain authority without sacrificing stealth. It's a bold trade-off. Lower radar cross-section, fewer exposed moving parts, lighter structure, better cruise efficiency, and, perhaps most importantly, a different mindset. This isn't about copying. It's about taking design risks others won't. Sooner or later, the U.S. will unveil the successor to the F-22 and F-35 under NGAD. When it happens, watch for one small detail. All moving wingtips. If they appear, it will be a quiet admission that China didn't just copy, it innovated. And if Europe's 6th gen fighters, like FCAS from Germany, France and Spain adopt them too, we'll know. An idea once dismissed has become the new standard because AMTs solve multiple problems at once. Lateral control without a vertical stabilizer, stall resilience in tailless designs, drag-based yaw stability, redundant control pathways, cleaner shapes for enhanced stealth. They weren't abandoned because they failed, but because the world wasn't ready. We lacked the materials, the actuators, the flight computers. Today, those pieces exist, and China was the first to connect them. Moving an entire wing section demands precise, durable, ultra-responsive mechanisms. If an AMT fails mid-flight, consequences could be severe. Structural loads are massive, especially under high G or turbulence. Over time, material fatigue is a real concern. In combat, what if shrapnel damages a wingtip actuator? Can the aircraft still maneuver? Can it recover? Continuous AMT operation likely draws more power than classic surfaces, stressing electrical or hydraulic systems. Yet, like thrust vectoring, ram coatings, or early fly-by-wire, engineering and training can mitigate most issues. Aviation's biggest leaps rarely arrive perfect. They arrive persistent. Moving a wingtip to control an aircraft is old, very old. What's revolutionary today is its rebirth. In the hands of engineers willing to challenge convention, revisit the forgotten, and take real risks, a discarded solution becomes a powerful tool. And that may be the message behind the J-50 and China's stealth drones. It's not just about more firepower, more speed, or more range. It's about thinking differently. History shows victory doesn't always go to the fastest or the strongest, but to the one who sees what others don't. Maybe tomorrow, America's NGAD and Europe's next-gen fighters quietly adopt the same tech. Maybe not, but one thing is clear. Air combat will never be the same. All moving wingtips might seem like a small technical detail, an oddity, a footnote, yet they signal something greater. Proof that in military design, even discarded ideas can return and change everything.
This is Tech Curio. If you're passionate about the hidden technologies shaping modern power, subscribe. We've got a lot more to uncover. See you in the next video.